welcome back to my channel this was a look I did I think last week um, super sunset orange pink yellow look um, so I'm just gonna kind of go over what I did and how a morning for me kind of goes on the days that I really want to do my makeup so this was early in the morning as many of you know I have quite a commute to and from work and I get up anywhere between 3 and 3 30 in the morning usually it's the latter part because no <laughs> um so this particular day I think I got up about 320 so I started doing my makeup about 330 and as you can see um, I started with my brows which I'm going to do a brow video eventually I have a lot of ideas it's just uh, getting the time to do them so for these days when I want to do the brows quick I just use a pencil the particular one I'm using here is by elf and it's literally two dollars yeah so um, I just shape them out real quick it's taken a lot of practice um, normally I will also use concealer to go under and below to just clean up and make the edges super crisp I did not do that this morning until later I usually do it right away I don't know why I did it this way this time but it is what it is and as you can tell I am leaving this video in real time because I wanted to show kind of how long it takes me to do my makeup for the most part you know there's a couple clips out you'll be able to see and that is just because I had to stop for a second it wasn't because it took me too long to do that particular step so you can see here the pencil that I was just um, using was the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And when I do bright colors, I like to lay this down first so that it will grab the color and make it more vibrant. And as I was saying, I usually start my makeup at home I do as much as I can at home which is usually at least my base so my foundation my powder my blush bronzer etc etc because I can get away with just doing all of that and then if I don't have time to do eyeshadow and brows and such I just drop uh, some mascara on them lashes and carry on this look I use the Coastal Scents palette it's like I don't know $15 $20 on their site and I've had it for way too long I am sure these shadows are probably expired and I probably should not be using the palette anymore but I do I'm looking to get another new one but I just don't know which one I don't know if I just want to replace this one um, Coastal Scents has another bright palette that has, I think, 12 shades, so it's more simple. And then there's BH Cosmetics that has some. So it's a little bit of deciding which one I want to get and then them being in stock. Or the Morphe 35B, uh, I think it is. Yeah, because it's the brights. That one as well. That one's a, a, a big contender. So, they're always out of stock though. Everybody wants the bright palettes. Anywho, as you saw, I did just some light white to kind of take away from a little bit of the grip of the pencil I used. Because I didn't want the colors to like skip and stay all over um, in, in awkward spots. 
And then I went in with a really bright pink, but I tried to diffuse the top um, portion as much as I could because I didn't want actually tons of pink. I wanted it to be more orange. Kind of looks more pink by the end, but is what it is. And as you can see here, that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to blow the edges out so they're not harsh. And then so it's a little bit lighter as it gets up and not so bam in your face. Yet. <laughs> and if you hear me sniffing or sound very scratchy, the pollen, the pollen is trash. Let's just put it that way. My throat this morning is super scratchy itchy and it's driving me bananas um here pretty sure that I had already dipped into the orange I had it, it's a borderline like red orange into fuchsia kind of color um, if I were to put it solo by itself you would see it looks more orange than it does pink but blending it into the pink just marries the colors together and it turns into this pinkish orangish brightness and these steps are going to take a little bit, so I'm going to pause, let you listen to a little bit of quiet, ambient music by the mister. You can check out his YouTube. Uh, link it up below. Because I can't remember if he has it under Lo-Fi, Afronaut, or Black Moth, although I'm pretty sure it's under Black Moth. So I'll link it above in the little little eye button, you know, the eye that swipes stuff across the top of your screen. All right. Listen a little and I'll be back. So, I guess it wasn't on that long, was I? <laughs> um, yeah, so yellow. Next, I took the brightest yellow in the palette, and I just went over and over and over this area until I had the pigmentation and the blend that I liked. As you can see, where it goes up into that orangish pink, it starts becoming a more of an orange color. So it actually becomes a soft gradient from yellow to orange to pink, which is what I was really going for. And one thing to note is that everybody tends to talk about, oh, this palette is so pigmented, or this pigment, they're not pigment, but this palette has no pigment, it's trash. My opinion is you can make any palette work. It may not have a lot of pigment, sometimes that's better. It lets you build up the color that you want, kind of like in this situation. You don't want to go in and be like, bam, color right off the bat, and it end up being too bright or too dark, and then you can't really fade it out. So you either have to wipe it off or deal with something darker than you initially were going for, if that makes sense. And so now, I really am going to leave you for a couple minutes or so while this eye gets finished up.
Next, clean up. Since I didn't do my base first, I take a makeup wipe, clean up any fallout that may have happened, which I really didn't have any with this one, and then cleaned up the edges of the shadow because I wanted the line to be a little more crisp and straight and clean than like blown out and rounded. And as you can see here, this is when I started cleaning up the brows. Again, no clue why I did it this way. I never, like, ever clean them up after I do my eyeshadow. So I don't know what thoughts I had behind that was. Um, it may have been that I wanted to try to create a whiter line on the underside after I did the shadow. Um, it really didn't make that much of a difference, though, so... Yeah, probably won't be doing that again. And here we have the foundation step. I use um, Maybelline Matte and Poreless, the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I like it. For the most part, I really like it. I get oily throughout the day, but maybe that's because I have my makeup on for like 10 hours. So it, usually by the time I get home, it's super greasy. Um, but I do notice around like 11 in the morning, it starts breaking down around my nose. My nose hates me. I can never keep foundation on really, really well around my nose. So um, that's just, just kind of how it goes. But I do like it. Um, it's not super full coverage unless you want it to be. You can build it up and get full coverage. But um, for me, it just depends on the day. I don't think I had it super full on this one. Although I could be wrong. We'll watch and see.
So here I went ahead and I did a quick powder. By this point I was running really close to the time that I needed to leave. So I was rush, rush, rushing through my uh, face routine. And as you can see, what I have found to work a little bit better than just like brushing on powder with the brush is to take um, the same damp sponge that I use for my foundation and just pick up powder on that and press it into the skin. And then right before I ran out the door, I took some of that yellow and swiped it underneath the inner portion of the eye and then took the pinks and the orange and ran them on the outside to where they made the yellow and ta-da, the eye look for the most part was done. And as you will see here in a minute or so, I finished the rest at work, which is super common for me. I think I may have said this earlier, but I'm recording my voiceovers at different parts of the day. So um, in a couple seconds, we're going to jump fast forward a couple, eh, like an hour and a half to the bathroom at my job where I finish liner, lips, a little bit of contouring and or bronzing and lashes. Yes. Okay, so in true makeup, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, what? Am I awake? I don't think I am. My eyes are awake. Well, they look awake. Anyways, in true wake up, makeup fashion, I never finish getting ready at home. I start and then I finish when I get here. Usually work. I do, and yep, work bathroom. Hey, I finish my brows with a little bit of brow gel. This is my new fave. Got it in the box charm box, and it's it's good. It's got a little tiny wand. I'll show you. Um, but I do my brows, liner, mascara, and lips when I get here. Um, I might try lashes today. I really want to start using lashes more. Sorry about that. Um, but I don't, I'm terrified. I just don't, I'm not comfortable with my application yet. But as you can see, this has a little tiny wand and it's really good to just kind of brighten up your lashes after you have put on your powder and everything. Sorry, I look away and do this in the mirror. And it just kind of takes away from that powdery look that when you uh, when you powder. Sorry, I'm so terrible at this. Um, so I think I'm going to do just a thin thin coat of liner. So I am holding the camera doing this at the same time, which is not easy.
Be right back. My kid just texted me. Okay, so curl the lashes. I think I have about 10 minutes left before I gotta be downstairs and on my computer. And I'm sorry if the sound quality sucks on this, but it is what it is. All right. And I'm not gonna do a super thick coat because I have put glue on the lashes and I am gonna give it a shot. I really do like this mascara though. Oh no, I forgot liner on the bottom. I like this liner, um, what was it by? I got it in, I don't know what kind of box I got it to buy, but it's Ciate, uh, Wonder Wand, and it has a little brush on the other side that I can just kind of smear out any eyeliner if I need to. So it's not like super, super harsh. My arm is on fire. My arm is on fire. Why is it that any time I say something that has a line from a song in it, I automatically have to sing that line? And every time say something is on fire, I have to sing Alicia Keys. I don't know. So I am going to make this wonderful attempt. Let me see if I can do these lashes. Let me see. Let me see. I don't know if I can do this on the camera. <laughs> probably not. I'm probably going to have to put this down. Nope, putting it down. Be right back. I'll be back, I promise. All right, so I got one. One. Uh, now I am trying, sorry, to, I'm try <laughs> trying to open this. Um, this is my go-to whenever I have a bright lip, I mean a bright eye, is the Super, just neutral, nudie, gloss lip. Um, sometimes I do matte, but I don't know. I haven't been liking the matte lips too much lately. But this is Butterscotch Gloss by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know if you can see it. Anyways, um, love it. I keep looking at myself, not in the camera. This is so weird for me, and I'm not used to it. I don't know how to handle it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do anymore. I love these lashes. They were like eight bucks for five pairs at Walmart. Um, getting them cheaper right now while I still am learning and practicing. So I'm gonna do this other one, and I'll come right back and say to loose. And I did it. I got the lashes on. I'm kind of living for them. So, um, for everybody else out there, have a great day. And um, I probably won't be doing this again this way because it was no. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed. And thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next, like, regular normal edited video. Oh. Um.